Hi, welcome back again to my channel and for today's video, we will answer on some problems involving the solutions to the differential equations. Okay, so let's start now. So let's have the first problem. Show that the function, this function here, y of x equals x, times 1 plus the integral of cosine x over x dx in the interval 1 to x is a solution to the initial value problem. And this is our initial value problem, the xy prime minus y equals x cosine x. So, ano yung goal dito? The goal here is that we want to show this guy here to be a solution of this initial value problem. Now, how do we solve on that? Now, remember, kasi papatunayan natin itong magiging solution siya. And then the fact that um, this initial value problem, of course, has a y prime, the variable involved here, variables rather, are x, y prime, and the y. But on the given note, this one here doesn't have a y prime. So in order for us to do that, we will have to solve it first. So we have, we will take the first derivative. In this case on here, let's simplify first. So that's y of x. This is equal to x plus x, the integral of cosine x over x dx from 1 to x. Okay. And so how do we get the first derivative? Okay. Alam natin, this is derivative of x with respect to x is 1 lang. Ito kasi is a product rule. Isipin mo, this is one function, this is another function. So, hindi ito kasali sa scratch ha. Ibublook mo na lang siya just for simplicity of the explanation. Pero if you want to write this formally on the exam, wag mo yung isulat siya. Kasi ang pangit naman nagre-label ka. Okay, so this is actually f. This is actually g. So, di ba yung derivative niya? It happens to be f g prime plus g f prime. So, ganyan yung gagawin natin. So, we have the f. So, copy the f. And then, derivative ni g prime. So, in this case, guys, yung derivative niya is we will take the derivative of this entirely. Okay. Note that this is integral. And in this case kasi, this is finite integral. And it so happened to be the antiderivative. So, ang mangyayari, mawawala lang to. So, that means you have cosine of x over x plus, eto naman, g. So, let's copy the g. 1x cosine x over x dx times the f prime, which is the x in this case. So, f, f prime, so maging 1 siya. So, to simplify on this, I have 1 plus cosine of x plus the integral of cosine x over x dx from 1 to x. So, that is our y prime. So, our next goal here, because we want to show this thing here as the solution to this thing here. So, kailangan, let's manipulate this here and we will have to end up with this guy here. So, how to do that? So, we have xy prime minus y. So, I have x times. Ano yung y prime? So, let's copy entirely on this red here. So, 1 plus cosine x plus the integral of cosine x over x dx, 1 to x, minus what is our y originally? Our y is x plus x integral one of cosine x over x dx from 1 to x. So how do we simplify this? So we have x, so substitute na lang natin yan individually. So I have x plus x cosine x plus x integral of cosine x over x dx from 1 to x minus, this is x, minus the x integral of cosine x over x dx from 1 to x. So, diba, if you notice, this will be canceled. I'm uh, sorry, this will be canceled and this one will be canceled as well as this. So, therefore, you're left with x cosine x. So, diba, ito yung pinapatunayan mo. Therefore, the claim is proven. That's it. So, pagkatapos mo i-prove, you write with this one here. Okay. That means end of the proof. So, sir, ano pala yung ga gamit sa y of 1 equals 1? Actually, 
there are cases wherein you need to, do, to have that because that makes our equation or our question defined. Although, let us say, for example, back in our basic algebra, di ba, meron tayong expression like that. So, sinasabi pa natin dyan, x is not zero. Although we don't need to do to have this, kailangan pa rin andun siya just to make this expression defined. So, ganun din yung nangyayari sa y of 1 equals 1. Well, kung gusto mo siyang i-verify, you can double check naman. Kasi kung titingnan mo, our y of x is this thing here. So, if I substitute this x by 1, so I have 1 times 1 plus the integral of cosine of 1 over 1 dx from 1 to 1. So, diba this is entirely 0. So, 1. So, that means ito yung lalabas. Okay, for number 2, show that the function y equals v of x in parametric form, y of t equals t, e to the negative t, and x of t equals e to the t is a solution to this differential equation, x squared y prime equals 1 minus xy. Okay, so how do we verify on that? Ito yung gusto natin patunayan, di ba? Kailangan ito yung makukuha nating end, uh, ending by just manipulating all of these. Oh, sorry, this one. So, how do we play on this? Kung titingnan mo, y prime yung involved. So, let's play with these things here. Uh, we will take the derivative muna. So, we take the derivative of x and y with respect to t. So, anong mangyayari? Okay. So, let's take the derivative muna with x with respect to t. So, dx dt. Let's play on this guy here. Anong derivative niya? That's the same as e to the t. Tama. How about the y? So, this is dy dt. Let's take the derivative t times negative e to the negative t. Tama. Plus e to the negative t times 1. Okay. Anong nangyayari doon? Di ba, eto, kung iisipin mo kasi siya, dalawang function. So, let's say your t here is f, your this one is g. So, di ba ang mangyayari? f g prime plus g f prime. So, that's f, kopyahin mo si t, and derivative of e to the negative t is negative e to the negative t. So, copy again the e to the negative t and take the derivative of t, so you get 1. And so, I can factor out. Um, remember, the common here is e to the negative t. So, I have e to the negative t times 1 minus t. So, bali, inuna ko na to. Okay, hence, our dy dx, that's the same as dy dt over dx dt, tama. And so, this is equal to e to the negative t, 1 minus t, over e to the t. And so, kasi alam natin in the first place that scratch lang tong blue ha, hindi to kasali sa solution. Your e to the t, di ba kasi denominator siya eh. So, that's 1 over e to the t, I can have e to the negative t. So, if I have to do that, ang mangyayari is e to the negative 2t. Kasi dalawa ng negative t, tama? Times 1 minus t. And so, I can have e to the negative 2t minus t, e to the negative 2t. Dinis distribute ko lang sila. Originally, our x is e to the t. So, ibig sabihin, this is 1 over x squared minus, kasi uh, you can have, this one, scratch lang to. Your y kasi is t e to the negative t. So, t e to the negative t yung y mo. Pero kasi ito siya. So, di ba pwede kong gawin yan as uh, t e to the negative t over e to the t. And so, this is y and this is x. Tama? So, this is therefore y over x. Okay. So, never mind with the blue color. Ha? Scratch lang yan. So, simplifying this, I have x squared 1 minus xy. Hence, ano yan? Di ba I can change this into y prime? So, hence, y prime is equal to 1 minus xy over x squared. Therefore, multiplying both sides by x squared, we have x squared y prime equals 1 minus xy. And this proves the claim. Ito yung pinapatunayan natin.
Okay, last question. For an arbitrary constant C, show that the function y equals c minus x over 1 plus x squared is a or the solution of the differential equation of this differential equation here. That's 1 plus 2xy quantity dx plus 1 plus x squared quantity dy equals 0. So let's verify and explain if the underlined word, so this underlined word here, should be a or they. How do we solve on that? So remember we have, ito yung y natin, no? So let's play on this y first. Kunin muna natin yung first derivative niya. So we have, we have dy dx. So I have y prime. So that's equal to, I'll play with this. Ano to? c minus x over 1 plus x squared. So, ibig sabihin magiging square itong baba. And then, low the high. So, kopyahin natin to 1 plus x squared times derivative sa taas that is negative 1 minus c minus x times derivative sa baba which is 2x. Okay. So, if I have to multiply both sides by dx, ang mangyayari, this is dy equals y prime dx equals this becomes 1 plus x squared raised to 2. And this becomes 1 minus 1 plus x squared minus c minus x, 2x. And this is dx. So if I simplify this, ang mangyayari natin, kayo nang mag manipulate ha, algebra ng, lang naman to. What is 1? This one is x squared minus 1 minus 2cx. So, therefore, if I simplify ko ito further, that's 1 plus x squared dy, which is equal to x squared minus 1 minus 2cx over 1 plus x squared dx. So, bali, multiply ko both sides by 1 plus x squared. So, ang mangyayari, nakukuhaan to ng isa. So, hindi na siya nag-square, pero eto, meron ng isa. So, this becomes, pwede ko ba tong gawin? minus x squared minus 1 plus a minus 2cx plus x squared plus 2x squared over 1 plus x squared dx. So, bali, kung titingnan mo, ang total ng dalawang to is the x squared. So, this is equal to negative 1 plus 2xc minus x over 1 plus x squared. That's dx. So, paano to? Dinivide ko lang both sides by 1 plus x squared. So, this one. So, naging 1. Mangyayari as well as this. Pinactor out ko c, 2x. And this happens. Okay. Kayo nang bahalang mag-manipulate nito ha. Algebraic manipulation lang naman to. Okay. Since y is c minus x over 1 plus x squared, we get... Ang mangyayari, this becomes negative 1 plus x squared dy. So, ito yung nangyayari sa y natin, which is equal to 1 plus 2xy dx. Hence, y equals c minus x over 1 plus x squared is a solution. We will be solving for c. So, now solving for c, we have the potential function, and our potential function is y, 1 plus x squared plus x equals c. This implies that our potential function is this one, 1 plus x squared plus x. So, ito yung mangyayari. So, ito yung uh, magiging potential function natin. Yan. Okay. So, suppose otherwise, or suppose further na, Let's say, um, may idea kasi tayo na it could be unique. Pero try natin ha. So suppose meron pang another so solution. So let suppose y equals p of x is a solution. So ibig sabihin, aside from this as a solution, meron pang ganito. So if we substitute this to the potential function, we have f of x equals 1 plus x squared p of x 
plus x. And so if I take the derivative, that's f prime of x, this becomes 2x phi of x plus 1 plus x squared p prime of x. Tama ba? Plus 1. So di ba ito yon isipin mo, this is your f. This is your g. So ito yung f. Uh, f, this is g prime. Dito yung g. This is uh, this is f prime. This is your g. Yan. Now, since p prime of x equals the negative of 1 plus 2x p prime of x over 1 plus x squared. Okay, so ito lang. Ano mangyayari dito? We have f prime of x equals 2x p of x plus I'm sorry, minus dapat to eh. Oh, tama naman. So, plus 1 plus x squared times negative of 1 plus 2x p prime of x over 1 plus x squared plus 1 plus 1. Okay. So, if we simplify this, I have 2x p of x. Tama ba? And so, this is minus 1 plus 2x. 1 plus 2x. Tama? 1 plus 2x p of x plus 1 equals is congruent to 0. Let me double check. Wala ba tayong mali? Okay. So therefore, f of x is constant and denote, and we denote it by c. That is, so naging constant siya because this is congruent to 0, yung f prime natin. Yung p of x natin is c minus x over 1 plus x squared. Sibig so, sabihin, ang p pala natin is yun yung kanina lang. So therefore, the solution is unique. So therefore, the underlying word should be, since unique, so that tayo. That's it. So if you have any question, guys, or clarification, please let me know. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you and have a great day.